In this video, I would like to share with you how to find the minimum or maximum value of a quadratic function. Um, that is also known as the vertex of the function. And although you see a TI-83 here on the screen, please know that the same keystrokes can be used on a TI-84 as well. So as you might guess, the first step in finding the vertex for a quadratic function is to graph it on the graphing calculator. So we will um, graph this first function, f of x equals x squared minus 4x plus 8, on the graphing calculator by first putting the function into the y equals. So I'll click y equals and then type this function in. Um, so we've got x squared, which you can type in either using the x squared key or the caret key. And just out of habit, I'm used to using the caret key for exponents, so I'll go ahead and use that. And then we've got minus 4x plus 8. Now we'll hit graph to see what this thing looks like. And as expected, this is a quadratic function. And so we um, see a parabola on the screen, this U-shaped guy here. And notice that our parabola is opening up, which means that our vertex is a minimum value. So to have the calculator tell us exactly where this minimum is, we will click the second key and then the trace key. That takes us to the calculate menu and notice that number three is uh, the minimum. So we will scroll down to number three and click enter to tell the calculator that we want it to tell us the minimum value for this function or the vertex. Now, see that the cursor is blinking here on the parabola, and the calculator is asking us a question. What it wants is for us to, t to move the cursor to a point that is near the vertex, but to the left of it. So visually, we know our vertex is right around here. And so we want to move our cursor on the curve, but to the left of that point. So you can use your right and left arrow keys to move the cursor. I'm going to move it just a little bit closer to the vertex, but still very obviously to the left of that point, and then hit Enter. Now the calculator is asking us to move the cursor to a point that's close to the vertex, but to the right of it. So I'll use my arrow keys to move the cursor somewhere that is close to the vertex here, but definitely to the right of it, and then click Enter. Now, when you see this on the bottom of the screen, it says guess question mark. That's the calculator's way of saying, okay, I've got all the information I need. Would you like me to tell you the minimum value or the vertex? And of course, we would like it to tell us this. So we will click Enter a third time and the minimum is displayed here on the screen. So the minimum or the vertex of this function f of x is x equals 2 at y equals 4. And to write that as an ordered pair, like we would want to do for our vertex, we would write that as 2 comma 4. OK, let's check out the second example. g of x equals negative x squared minus 2x minus 2. So I'm going to go to y equals and clear out the first function and type in the second function. So I'll use the negative key for the negative x squared, then minus 2x minus 2. When we hit graph, we get the parabola that we expected, but notice that this parabola is opening down. So the vertex is a maximum value. Now you may remember when we hit the second and then trace button, we have the calculate menu. One of the options, option number three was the minimum. Option number four is the maximum. So in this case, we'll scroll down to option number four and hit enter. And then we're going to play the same game that we played before. So the cursor is blinking on the parabola and the calculator is asking us to please move that cursor somewhere close to the vertex, close to that maximum value, but just to the left of it. So we can see that our vertex is right around here somewhere. So I want to use my arrow keys to move that cursor somewhere close to that vertex, but definitely clearly to the left of it. And then I'm going to hit enter.
and then I'm going to do the same thing for the right bound. So I'm going to move the cursor over so that it is close to that vertex or maximum value, but definitely to the right of it, and then click Enter. And then I'm going to click Enter one more time for a third time so that the calculator will give me the vertex or the maximum value for this. And in this case, the maximum value is again shown at the bottom of the screen. And notice that the maximum is saying x equals negative 1.000001. Um, and y equals negative 1. Now sometimes the calculator, um, um, depending on the algorithm used, may give you an answer that looks like this. And we can pretty safely say that the vertex or the maximum value for this quadratic function is simply just negative 1, comma negative 1. So this is the um, this negative 1.000001 is um, we can assume to be simply just negative 1.